One of the first things we need to understand in science is how we are going to measure and what units we are going to use when we talk about different measurements. First off, when we talk about length, we're used to using inches, feet, yards, and miles as our units of, of length, but in science class we will be talking in terms of meters, centimeters, even really small millimeters, or if it's very, very long, we'll talk about kilometers or kilometers. A meter is a little bit longer than a yard, so it's just beyond three feet. A centimeter is 100, or I'm sorry, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And if you look at the picture here, you can see at the bottom example, these are, these numbers represent um, different centimeters compared to inches above it. So again, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. On the opposite end, there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So when we're talking about something very long, we might be speaking in terms of kilometers. Here, you can see that um, one kilometer, or I'm sorry, a kilometer, Kilometer is the distance of 11 football fields. And here, a football field, if we imagine a football field and we take the distance from one um, goal line all the way to the other side, to the back end of the other goal line, that would be about 100 meters. You string, you know, 100 of these or 10 of these distances and you get a kilometer. The next is area. An area is the amount of space in two dimensions. What I mean by that, if we have uh, a flat surface, there are two dimensions. There is the length and the width. Here we have an object uh, that measures 4 centimeters, centimeters by 8 centimeters. To find the area, we're going to multiply length times width, and we end up with 32 square centimeters, or 32 centimeters squared and that would be area. The next is volume, and volume is very similar except it is the amount of space that a three-dimensional object takes. And we might be using, um, in everyday language, we might be talking about cubic feet, cubic inches, gallons, or even ounces, but in science class we're going to be talking in terms of cubic meters and cubic centimeters. And here's an example. Um, you have this shape here, and it's length times width times height. And you multiply those three, and you get, you know, a cubic centimeter. So this might be, you know, 100 cubic centimeters. Um, next, if it is liquid volume, we're going to be talking in terms of liters or milliliters. And in the classroom, we're going to be using something called a graduated cylinder to measure that. So volume of a liquid in liters or milliliters. And finally, something called mass. And um, without getting into the definitions of mass, um, know that mass and mass and weight are different. Mass is the amount of matter an object possesses. And I don't want you to get mass confused with measurements of pounds and ounces. We measure mass in terms of grams, milligrams, or kilograms. In science, when we take that measurement, we'll be using something called a uh, triple beam balance to measure its grams. And so um, to review, length, we're going to measure in meters, and uh, centimeters, millimeters, or kilometers. If we're talking area, it's the amount of space of a two-dimensional object in meters squared, centimeters squared, millimeters squared, or kilometers squared, square kilometers. If it's volume of a solid, all right, that's the space of a three-dimensional object. It's cubic centimeters or cubic meters. If it's volume of a liquid, then it's going to be liters or milliliters. And finally, if we are speaking about mass, we will be measuring in grams, milligrams, or kilograms. Okay, hope you were paying attention and can answer the questions below.